Hey friends, how are you? I hope you're having a great day today. Today we will be making a puppy dog in his doghouse, so let's get started. The first thing that you'll want to do is go pretty close to the top of your paper, and you're going to make a dot right in the middle. Do you see that dot I made? It doesn't have to be a big dot, it just can be a small dot. From this dot, we're going to go down with a slanted line, all the, almost all the way to the end of your paper and down with a slanted line almost to the end of your paper. Now we're going to put a straight line down, a straight line down, and then we're going to come back up like this and come back up like this. So we have a roof for our doghouse. The next thing that we're going to do is we are going to make the walls of the doghouse. So you're going to make a straight line coming down and another straight line coming down. Now what we're going to do is we are going to close up the bottom of our doghouse. Now we need to make a door so we can actually see our dog that's going to be inside of our doghouse. So to make your door to your doghouse, I would suggest that you make it pretty large. If you make a tiny little doghouse door, then your puppy's going to be have to be very, very tiny. But if you make it, let's say about this size, this is my upside down U, then we'll be able to see your puppy inside. So that is the door to your dog house. Let's, before we add our dog, let's add a little bit more detail to our dog house. Maybe we can put a bone up here at the top so you make two straight lines and then a backwards number three and a forwards number three. And then you can put the name of your dog inside of here. So his, he will know whose house this belongs to. So let's say your dog's name is Ruff. So you can write the word Ruff in here. Oh, that's a cute dog name. All right, the next thing that we're going to do is we are going to create our dog. So inside this dog house, we want to make sure that we stay inside these lines for our dog. We're going to make our dog pretty big in this space. Let's make a letter U for his face and close up the letter U at the top with a curved line. Let's make some floppy ears, which are letter J's forward and backwards. And let's take a look at his cute face. Let's make some wide set eyes. If there are different eyes that you like to use and you like to draw for your dog, go ahead and do that. Let's make a, a nose. I like to make just a straight line with a U underneath and then I like to fill it in and then a line coming straight down. His mouth is pretty much tucked under his chin here. We can make some little dots that represent his whiskers. And then what we can do is make his body. So we can make a curved line here going almost to the bottom, but not quite. And then another curved line. And for his feet, we're going to make two lines coming down and then his paws. Remember, this is a cartoon, so it doesn't need to be too realistic. Let's close up his body. And then for his back legs, we're just going to have shapes that look like this. So they're curved lines and they're attached to this initial curve line that you make. We can make a tail maybe even with a little patch of white at the top. And let's remember to put a collar on our dog. That is very important, just in case he gets lost. So you make a curved line, another curved line, and then you can make a tag at the bottom. If you have room, you can even write your dog's name in the tag. I don't really have room. I think I can fit the letter R though. All right, I'm gonna put just a little bit of decoration, a little bit of detail on his collar. 
Now we'll want to make a little bit of a flooring on the bottom of his dog house. So the way that you do that, if you choose to do this part, is you make a straight line coming across, jump over his body, and then start your line up again. And then it'll look like he's sitting on the floor. All right, let's see, what else can we do? Let's add a little bit of detail to our dog house. So the way that I add detail to a dog house, I like to think of a dog house as being made out of wood. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to lightly make some lines like this. I'm going to lightly make some lines like this. It's not a solid line. Remember, I'm jumping over that space. There we go, all the way across and all the way down. Almost done. There we go. Now it looks like my dog house is made out of wood. If you'd like to put your dog house onto some grass, just make a line here, a line here. If you want to give your dog um, a toy or a bone or a treat, you can make it down here. Maybe even a little ball for him to play with. And then if you'd like to make some lines that represent grass, that's always a good idea. Now here in the background, you can put a sun, you can put a moon. I think I like to put a moon actually. So it's a capital letter C, and then we close it up, and that can be a moon. And then we can even put some stars around our moon in our sky. That's actually a really cute idea. There we go. What do you think? I hope you had fun with this lesson, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!